Hello everyone, so today we're taking our first look at the Hell Let Loose artillery pieces. Uh, this is the first we're really hearing about. Uh, the artillery pieces have some information based on how they're going to be uh, added and implemented into the game, how they're going to be used, and so on and so forth. So this artillery piece that we're looking at right now is the Model 18 Evergreen German artillery piece. Um, and all factions will get light, medium, and heavy artillery pieces uh, later on. But right now, this is the first one that they've completed, modeled, and we'll talk about uh, kind of how artillery will work in the game. And as you know me, I'm very excited for this. This isn't just mortars. These are full-blown artillery pieces, um, <clears throat> so I'm really excited. And they're manned, operated, built, maintained, and uh, used by players directly, just like in squad or PR where you have to manually uh, rearm them using a logi or uh, aim them and have a forward observer and stuff like that. That's mainly how they're going to uh, function is just like that. They're going to have some, uh, you, you need a human active player for every kind of um, element behind using the arty. So we'll look at a couple of screenshots that I have here. So artillery pieces will be uh, placed at main. And from main, you need to build them up, maintain, and fire them. All right, so... We'll talk about a little bit about how Artie is going to be, uh, or how they plan on having Artie utilized within uh, Hell Let Loose. So, first off, uh, they, as I said before, these pieces will be in main, and uh, players will need to build them and uh, construct them using uh, probably an engineer class of some sort, I believe. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll probably need a certain class to construct them. It's not like Squad where you can just, you know, be anyone and build anything. Um, in Hell at Loose, uh, there will be a specialized class for the artillery piece. Uh, they're going to have a cost construct, so it's not just free. You will need to spend points to build them. So my thought process is if they have points for building uh, Artie, you're probably going to have to spend points for uh, us using uh, other vehicles and assets as well. So it kind of can make games more dynamic because you have to choose where you're going to put those points. Once again, you're going to need to ha have that communication, just like in squad and PR, where you need to communicate with your forward observer and your fire team, um, simply to have uh, coordinated rounds going from each gun. Independent gun has independent operators, um, all coordinating with forward observers. And uh, I talked a little bit uh, with one of the devs, and they, they said, uh, you know, like most artillery, they're going to be most effective in salvo, you know, with all three guns firing on the same target. And once again, like, it's a hardcore game, so you don't get kill confirmation. So you don't know exactly what you're hitting if you're shooting this. You don't get a hit mark or anything like that. You you are manually corrected by, by a forward observer. It's going to work just like PR, where you have elevation and orientation, and uh, you control the fire rate. It's not going to be like games of uh, Day of Infamy, where you call in uh, artillery off-map using a radio. Um, all players have an active part in uh, maintaining these weapon systems. Um, so... That being said, there's going to be a big skill gap. Like, you're going to have people who are really good with the artillery pieces and people who are really bad. So I think that's really cool, adding a skill factor into, uh, you know, using the artillery. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. As you all know, like, I love indirect fire. Like, I, I run mortar squads all the time in squad. And um, in Dave Infamy, I love playing the officer because I can call stuff in. So I'm really looking uh, towards, uh, I'm really excited and looking uh, towards using the artillery pieces. Um, especially since, you know, every faction is going to get them and they're going to have, uh, I believe, light, medium, and heavy uh, variations of the artillery pieces. So that's going to be a lot of fun to use. Um, but yeah, once again, just a heads up that all this is just uh, design work and everything's still being developed. So, you know, things things are subject to change. Things could be added, changed, or removed. But this is the current information that I have right now on the art artillery features within hell at loose and i thought I'd share it with you guys I, th I i find it pretty interesting you know because i'm i'm always looking for indirect fire uh but yeah aside from that i'm excited to looking um towards more hearing about more uh assets within hell at loose more features and uh, as always i'll make sure to cover it on that on this channel so make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified of when those videos go up as well as the live streams but uh yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video